PhD in botany. So he knows that. Now, are you asking another question? So if I look at the punctuated uh, maneuvers and inconsistencies, Ruto is a president that does not care about what he says. He just look at the moment, what favors the moment, and he work on it. And that has made so many leaders. In fact, when you hear people have different lives, even you go to Raila Odinga, he also has different lives where this was right, and it was right at the moment, you stand by it. Tomorrow, is something else that is opposite to this one favors you, you move to it. So, Simba, politicians are like that. In fact, I've been urging Kenyans, it is high time we don't elect typical politicians. And I'm asking people, the U.S. has tried to tour with different personalities. Mm -hmm. There's a time the U.S. thought that it's good to have a Democrat, it's good to have a Republican. They discovered that Republicans and Democrats are just the same. Then they went and said, okay, let us try black Americans because maybe all these guys are just thugs. Let's try black American. Maybe he has some, something. Obama came in, but Obama delivered somehow. Only that Obama never did what they thought he was going to do towards the blacks because even though Obama was sworn in, a black man was shot in Pennsylvania Avenue. No, he said, my goodness, how can a black be shot when a black is in White House? So the black people gave up the idea that the blacks can change the challenges of black people if yeah. they are president. Yeah. And now, then they said, now we are tired of all these thugs. That's how Trump won the election. Trump says, all politicians are thieves. Let us elect a businessman. Trump is a businessman. When he came in, you saw the chaos which was there. So I'm saying, there is a way in which I think we need to start looking at people who stand for something, uh, for example, people who believe, you look at the punctuation, the mannerism, you understand these people, what do they stand for? In fact, Obama did beat John McCain on something very interesting, which I think Kenyans need to learn. When John McCain was running against Obama, John McCain flew a, 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 an aircraft, military aircraft, to show that he's a commander in chief that can take over state. Remember, that's the time when Iraq was threatening and the, the issue of the Gulf 